Hey everyone, welcome to Witches of Balance, I'm Ange and we had a video request, or oh, it was quite a wee while ago, two or three weeks ago, could have even been a month ago, perhaps no it wasn't a month ago, two or three weeks ago. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember who the video request was from, but they requested that we do some cooking videos and requested that those cooking videos be food that are perhaps well known in our country or native to our country or you know what I mean. So. I'm going to show you how to make a lolly cake, which is a bit of a kiwi icon over here. Um, I presume you guys will be able to get all the ingredients overseas. Um, I don't know, obviously, but it's very, very simple. It's very, very yummy. It is my husband's favourite, and um, it's a sweet, really. Um, we call it a cake because, of course, you know what we call things is completely different to what you guys call things. Um, but it's a no-bake cake for want of a better description and you set it in the fridge and it's in all the cafes over here and everyone just absolutely loves it so I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay so the ingredients that you are going to need is one 250 gram packet of malt biscuits now these are what our malt biscuits, well one of the brands that our malt biscuits look like um, you know just plain malt uh, biscuits or cookies, I think you guys might call them. I don't understand cookies, but biscuits. So, and you need to crush them up so they look like, you know, so they're really, really fine. Um, you don't want great big chunks in there. So, and I'll put all the ingredients in the um, in the description box so you don't get all, you know, mussed up. So, 250 grams of malt biscuits. You need one packet of chewy fruit puffs. Now, they look like this. These are them chopped up. And I just use the cheap ones, just the cheap Pam's ones. But they, I kept some back so I could show you. They, can you see, they look like this. And there's um, different flavors in the pack. Um, they're chewy, kind of soft. Uh, real yummy, soft scented, um, not soft scented, chewy lolly type things. Anyway, whatever you can get like that, fruit puffs, and what you want to do is just chop them up into chunks so they look like that. You need 100 grams of melted butter and half a can of condensed milk, which I have in here. It's the condensed milk. Um, and the butter, so 100 grams of melted butter and half a can of condensed milk, so it would be um, 200 grams of condensed milk because one can is 400 grams, so anyway don't fret, I'll put everything in the description box, so like that, you need some um, desiccated coconut on a plate because you're going to roll it in that and some glad wrap or plastic wrap or whatever the hell you guys call it over there so it's very easy, you get your biscuits, you dump in your fruit puffs, get your butter and your condensed milk, give it a good stir so it's all combined. I am no cooking guru so if this is all clumsy then I'm sorry but you'll just have to bear with me. So you mix all that in. I have to do it this way, otherwise I'm going to get it everywhere. I'm not redoing it because I don't have all the ingredients to make it a second time. Okay, so you put all that in the bowl, mix it all up so it's all well combined. And um, kids always have this at kids' parties. And, it's very yummy, and my um, my husband just he'll sit and eat this until it's gone. He's got a massive sweet tooth. Okay, so just make sure it's all. You want to make sure that the condensed milk and the butter is all well, all mixed through the biscuit crumbs because you want it all to stick together. So, I've spilt it all over the bench. OK. 
okay. Like that and that. Mmm. That's quite good. Okay. So, you do that. And then what you want to do is get your hands in there. And obviously make sure they're clean. And you, what you want to do is you want to kind of mush it into a log shape in the bowl. It's easy if you do it in the bowl. If you get it all over the bench then it sticks everywhere and it's just a bugger to clean off. So just kind of form it into a loose kind of a log shape. Get your plate. Is that in frame? videos are really hard to do. You have discovered. Okay, so take it out without it breaking. Pop it on here and you just kind of mush it, roll it in the coconut. It's going to break on me. So make sure that all of it is covered in coconut. And it ends. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect like that. So it looks like a big log. Then I'm just going to wash my hands. Mm -hmm. Then you want to get some glad wrap. Well, over here we call it glad wrap. I don't know what you guys like plastic wrap, cling form, I don't know. Whatever. So I just roll some out. bench. Everyone's looking at my grotty kitchen aren't they? Yes I need a new kitchen but you know I'm not a millionaire so. So pick up your log. <laughs> Sorry. Get that out of the way. And you just want to wrap it up quite tightly so it stays in its shape. Flora does such fantastic cooking videos. They are really hard to, to get right. Anyway, so wrap it up quite tight in the clean wrap, glad wrap, whatever you call it. So it is a nice, nice little neat parcel like that. And then all you want to do is It takes, oh I don't know, uh, two or three hours I suppose. No, it wouldn't even take that long. Um, what does the packet say? Oh, I just say stick in the fridge until it's firm. I don't know, half an hour to an hour perhaps. And then um, I'll show you um, once it's set and you just cut it up and eat it. And it is very, very, very yummy. So lolly cake, authentic kiwi lolly cake. Um, if I can actually manage to not completely fuck up another cooking video then I will um, I will show you guys some more oh I'll do some more cooking videos I don't know I'm not really yeah uh, I'm, I'm not much of a kitchen guru and as you can see so anyway um hope you like it give it a go and let me know your feedback okay bye okay so it's all set it's been in the fridge for a couple of hours um because I had to go out and do stuff but um there you go just I don't know, slice it up about, well, however thick you like it. We like it reasonably thick. <laughs> and if um, it's really, really hot where you are, then you might want to keep it in the fridge so it doesn't get too kind of mushy. But other than that, it should be fine just to store um, in a tin. And it can be quite sickly, so, you know, don't go eating the whole thing. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Give me some feedback and let me know what you think of it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.